This historic rail bridge is being replaced. The High Line Bridge in Somerville, Mass, has been carrying trains on the Lowell Line since the 1930s. This bridge will be gone very soon, so let's take a moment to learn about its history and see what trains can be found operating above and below. The High Line sits in Somerville's Inner Belt neighborhood. The bridge carries MBTA and Amtrak trains over the yard tracks surrounding the Boston Engine Terminal, or the MBTA's main maintenance facility. Built just before the Great Depression, the area around this bridge sees much less traffic than it did back when the bridge was built. This area of Boston was once littered with freight rail yards, active industries, and a whole bunch of train tracks. Around the same time that the High Line was constructed, the Boston and Maine had two classification yards and two hump yards taking in thousands of carloads per week in the Inner Belt area. When the Boston and Maine realigned the New Hampshire division, it required the construction of a bridge to take the line over the busy tracks of the former Grand Junction Railroad Company. In 2025, the addition of the MBTA Green Line extension to this neighborhood makes the area almost unrecognizable. Freight trains heading into Boston used to come in at Yard 8 at the location of the new East Somerville Station and shoot down and underneath the High Line Bridge. Freight rarely ran over the bridge until the Green Line extension altered the operation. Looking from above, this bridge is much smaller than it may appear from below. It's a skinny structure, built from end to end on a banking curve. Naturally, over the years, the bridge has gotten, well, old. As mentioned, the tracks under this bridge are technically the Grand Junction branch. The original Grand Junction Railroad spanned from Beacon Park Yard in Alston all the way to the docks in East Boston. Today, the only part of the line that still sees service is from Beacon Park Yard to the Coke Works in Everett. That includes this portion of track. The MBTA Commuter Rail Work Extra peruses this area most frequently. Two out of three of these tracks are used as storage for a variety of MBTA Commuter Rail freight cars. Today, the work extra needs to grab two flat cars from the Boston and Maine eastbound track and move them to the Boston and Maine westbound track. Unfortunately, no freight railroads run underneath the High Line Bridge since Pan Am Railway's local B01 stopped running to Peabody in 2023. All that's left below that sometimes can count as a freight train is the MBTA's work extra. These days, the only remaining freight railroad to operate over this bridge is CSX. 
CSX runs a local to the Coke Works in Everett and the final leg of the loaded sand train to Boston Sand and Gravel on weeknights. Speaking of those two trains, I have a huge video series coming out that may just include them. Keep an eye out this weekend for an update. The wait is almost over. The new bridge adjacent to the High Line is nearly complete. The High Line bridge replacement is the last of six bridge replacements launched by the MBTA in 2019. This job is by far the most difficult of the six because it involves building a second bridge adjacent to the High Line without disrupting service at the same time. This bridge should be operating by the end of August 2025, marking the end of the High Line Bridge. I was really interested in the support beams for the bridge. I'm sure a structural engineer can tell me why there are octagonal shaped holes in the beams. Comment down below if you know. As far as I'm concerned though, they made for a great shot. The work extra is now done for the day and will return to the Boston engine terminal momentarily. I couldn't help but notice the state of the High Line Bridge from this perspective. Given its near decade of service, it doesn't look too bad.
With the original High Line Bridge saying farewell, there is one more iconic bridge relating to the Grand Junction Line just west of here. Built in 1927, this bridge is crucial infrastructure to the MBTA, as it makes up the 2.5 mile connection between the isolated south and north sides of the commuter rail. Though no plans have been released, I wouldn't be surprised if the Grand Junction Railroad Bridge is also replaced someday possibly when the line is closed at some point for the I-90 realignment project. It is definitely one of the most iconic spots to see trains on this line. This bridge allegedly provides one of the only places in the world where one can see a plane flying over a car, driving over a train, running over a boat. The rust combined with the layers of graffiti give the Grand Junction Railroad Bridge a certain beauty that is different than the High Line. This bridge is a sort of melting pot for human culture, while the High Line Bridge has seen much less recognition by the public over the years. The High Line makes many different railroad operations possible in Boston, and just because it's being replaced by a brand new, state-of-the-art bridge doesn't make its legacy any less important to Boston railroading history. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something that you didn't know about these bridges. If you have any questions about anything I said in this video, please comment down below. Your questions are what inspire me to make these videos. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It would mean a lot. So until next time, I will see you all again soon, out there on the rails.